Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What was it like playing one of the world's greatest storytellers? It, quite a, <laughs> that's an interesting way of putting it. I mean, yeah, it was, um, I suppose, briefly intimidating and then quite exciting, really, because I realized there hadn't been that many portrayals of, of the man himself on screen. We've seen many, many adaptations of Christmas Carol and his other works, but the man himself is, is something of a, you know, he's an elusive character on screen, and yet there's so much to say about him. He's a very, very interesting life. And we just take a, a neat little yeah. six-week slice. And of you've his... never seen the young Dickens. I mean, yeah. he, he's, a, he's a man on fire. He's, like, wanting to prove himself. He's a bit of a rock star, and he's kind of really struggling to kind of make his mark. And, and you know, he's incredibly handsome. Very Luckily, handsome. Dan comes somewhere close <laughs> to that. And we... Uh, and we managed to, uh, you know, he did an amazing job and we just, you know, the camera just followed him. He created this whirlwind of a character, which you've never seen before, I don't think. I think it's I a really know. special interpretation of Charles Dickens. I love the way you transformed. What was it like wearing these costumes and stepping into these beautiful, whimsical sets? You've literally stepped into the 1800s. Yeah, well, we were lucky enough to shoot on the, the streets of Georgian Dublin, uh, which is relatively unspoilt yeah. compared to George in London. You know, yeah. the, there's some very, very beautifully preserved streets and uh, some less well-preserved houses, but we, <laughs> we filmed in them nonetheless. Yeah. And, uh, but yeah, it, it was really uh, it was a gorgeous time yeah. of year to be in Dublin. And we had a great crew that, um, I mean, we did so much research and we kind of dug out stuff from all over the place. And we, we used the book, Christmas Carol, as mm. our kind of bedrock. So there's lots from the book. That's a, lots of Easter eggs for a Christmas movie. So mm. if, you, if, you, if you know the books, it's great. If you don't, it's still fantastic. It is. How did, I, I love the way you treated these characters and the humor throughout mm. this entire story. Yeah, I mean, that's the key, I think, to Charles Dickens. People don't realize or forget how funny he is. Mm -hmm. Actually, Christmas Carol's a laugh out loud book. You know, it's a really fun character and he's put through the grinder. But the genius of, of Dickens is he takes the fun and the pathos and then actually gives you something else underneath it. I mean, he's talking about the human qualities we should all follow and that in a way is what, what the title alludes to, The Man Who Invented Christmas. You know, it's about the humanity of him. But, you know, that, that's the great thing. It was, it was actually, and I think that's what it attracted. It was, it's laugh out loud, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's very, very silly and playful yeah, yeah. At, at turns. And I think that was, for me, something important to remember, to, to revisit, was how funny Dickens was, as well as being, you know, he has these very... Uh, tragic, dramatic yeah. storylines, yeah. but it has a great sense of humor. He has and a great a, joy in his life. Quite a, a weird sense of humor as well, yeah. you know, a taste for the <laughs> surreal and the supernatural. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it was a really... He's got this own, his own world in his head. Oh, very much. You know, and we get and, to see bits and of it. as with a lot of artists and, and very intensely imaginative creative types, they can't always get it out. You know, mm -hmm. they do, they, or it comes out and it's wrong, or they, you know, and they're struggling to to process all these you know, thoughts that they're having. And I think he, he had an extraordinary view of the world around him, a very sort of broad social panorama and could see some great ills developing in, in the society. I mean, the great him. thing we get to do with this film is his characters come and visit him. So all these things he's thinking in his head, they're actually in the room mm -hmm. with him. And, it's a, and you get to have so much fun there when you're kind of meeting them all. I read that you've been waiting since you were 12 years old to work with Plummer. Was it everything you ever yeah, dreamed of? And then some, honestly, <laughs> and then some. I, very, I mean, it, I, I, I was kind of, I'm not usually that awestruck, but I mean, honestly, I, it was like, it's Christopher Plummer. I mean, he's, you know, he's in a, I mean, my fa one of my all-time favorite movies is The Man Who Would Be King. Another great The Man Who film. Yeah, Man Who, that's true. I didn't even think Plumbers about it. Maybe that's what it is. The Man, the man who. who Invented it. <laughs> but yes. I, you know, I never even really thought of that. It's, it's a, a fabulous movie. movie. So, you know, John Huston directed that. John Huston. Yeah. So I'm going, so how does John, how did John direct you? Yeah. <laughs> so, he didn't say very much, darling. He didn't say, <laughs> I was, oh, I'll, just, I'll just stay quiet and let you get on with it. But he, it was, it was a, it was a kind of a... Uh, Film History 101 for me, I was, I was in heaven. Nice. Now this movie really puts you in the spirit of Christmas. How are you gonna spend the holidays? Uh, <laughs> well, I will be in Los Angeles, California, but watching The Muppet Christmas Carol. Oh, we do <laughs> that sounds Every like Christmas fun. Eve. Um, and I will be having a Barbie in Australia, <laughs> as I do every Christmas. Uh, my other half and family are all from Australia, so we head over there and have a very un -Christmassy Christmas. But they love it out there in Australia. Yeah, they miss the snow. Made in Hollywood. 
guys, thanks for checking out this video. We want to know, what would you have asked? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And as always, for more videos like this, hit the Emma HTV logo right here. And for the next awesome video, click right there.